video we're gonna talk about how to create or add um, a web user control and this video is for an absolute beginners uh, to start just create a, a web application web solution and once you have added or created your solution just go ahead and add a new item and you have here the web user control and you can program using Visual Basic or C Sharp let's leave it under Visual C Sharp and let's leave the default name under that let's hit add as you can see there's nothing in it and all you have to do is start in this case in this example we're gonna just uh, add links we're gonna add one link to it and an image button move this away then we're gonna add a regular button and that's it you can add whatever you got you you know you need so on the image let's add a picture to it so we're gonna go into image URL equals add an Ajax logo and link button let's leave it like that let's see how it looks as you can see we got that regular link hyperlink and image button with an image and a regular button so why do we need a web user control uh, this is useful if you have um, many pages or multiple pages and you want to add this specific control to the page without uh, modifying each individual uh, ASPX page so let's give it some some effect uh, when the user clicks on this one we're gonna send them to uh, we're gonna redirect to this case Google uh, when they double well, when they click on the Ajax logo let's send the user to the Ajax website and all you have to do is you know say response that redirect and the same thing with this regular button you can do more sophisticated coding it but just to keep it short this is how you create a web user control now let's go into our regular page and to add that user control or to view it all you have to do is click it and, and drag it over here and you get your your control on your page so if you need to modify it and if you have a hundred pages all you have to do is come back to this page and do your changes and you're done uh, let's see how it looks in the browser as you can see we got our user control and then when we click on it it should take us to Google in this link okay so it's working same thing with the Ajax image button works and the button so you can add any control to the web user control and use it across any pages now let's do something something else in this case we're gonna add a, let's go here and add a little bit of CSS we're gonna 
add this style sheet. After adding the style sheet link, let's try it with the link, see how they affect the display. So let's refresh. This is only to show how the link you can make the a link effect. You can make any font, any color change when you click on it, it will you know change to something else. So hopefully this will help you out and creating a custom your own user control on your web pages. Thank you for watching.